Hey, and welcome back. So today we are going to take a look at some MeePhoto products. And MeePhoto, uh, to anybody who listens to the Petapixel podcast, you have heard so much chatter about MeePhoto. Um, they are a fantastic tripod company on the kind of the budget end. They're not, uh, they're not the super high-end, real pricey uh, tripods. They have some really nice packages available uh, for, for just uh, anything from slightly lighter cameras, not really your full DSLR setup, all the way through to tripods that will handle a full DSLR setup. So we're going to take a look at three of them today. The first one that I want to show you is the Backpacker Air. So this guy, and when it's folded up, is only 10 inches long. It's 10.4, so we'll call that 10. Um, it is 2 pounds. It is super duper light, and it will hold up to 9 pounds, or like 8.8. .8. So um, I don't really view this as... Uh, a full DSLR tripod. I guess if you had a small enough lens on it and it wasn't like a a massively heavy one, you're okay. Um, but this is more like for a mid-size, for a kind of a lighter, lightweight camera. Um, but it's super convenient. A um, couple of the features on this. One of the things they have, which I think is kind of cool, is a, a cell phone um, Bluetooth trigger mechanism so that you can actually trigger your cell phone so if you're using it as a selfie stick holding your cell phone um, you can actually trigger your phone and that that's that's good that's kind of neat um, all right so the legs operate up on the uh, by the base just exactly like you would have like a uh, a whole series of other ones like the three-legged thing the Benro the Enduro they all kind of operate on the same exact principle um, the, the other end of the leg, though, is very different. This is what they call hyperlock. So you twist it to unlock it, and then it just telescopes. And so there's one more section in there that didn't come. There you go. All right, so, and that is basically the mechanism. You twist it again to the right, and that leg is set. It's already totally firm. Um, and then you can fold it back up and plop it back in, which is super convenient. Um, with this tripod, you get... Um, it's 10.4 inches uh, folded up, I already told you that. When you extend the whole thing with the center column up and the legs out, 59.4 inches. So, um, a really, really nice tripod. Uh, five section leg, um, an extendable center column, and yeah, that's it. This is not going to be in my article because it's too inexpensive. Um, and I don't want to say cheap because it's actually nicely made. Um, and it's a it's a great product, but my bottom seller for the price range on the article is two hundred dollars. This is only one hundred and twenty five bucks. So, uh, but for one hundred and twenty five dollars, if you wanted to get something, you can even throw this in the glove box of your car, um, and just literally always have a tripod in your car if you wanted to have it. All right, and excuse me for two seconds as I step out of the frame. And the next one that we're going to take a look at is the famous purple tripod. These are all available in the purple color, but I asked MeePhoto to please make sure that one of the ones that they send out to me is in purple as a tribute to our favorite Sharky James. Um, and so this tripod is the Road Trip Air. And the Road Trip Air is $175. So it's $50 more than the, the blue one that I just showed you. Um, and it's a little bit more beefy. Um, I, I wouldn't call this a heavy-duty tripod. Um, it's not, again, I'm not really excited about putting a, a, a big heavy camera up on here um, and entrusting, uh, uh, you know, 5D with a, with a massive lens on there. Um, it's rated to 13.2 pounds, uh, but again, I think I would go with more like maybe a landscape lens, like a wide-angle, smaller lens, and then a medium-heavy camera, and you're, you're totally good to go. Um, when it's folded up, it's 11.4 inches. When it's fully extended, it's 61 inches. The leg mechanism is exactly the same thing, the hyperlock system. Um, the one thing that I absolutely love about this, well, let me actually first show you how fast this thing is to set up. Um, because these hyperlock legs, and it's also actually a hyperlock center column, which I am not accessing right now. Sorry, got to fasten that down. Oh, i sorry, I had my pan lock not working. All right, so that's it. If I hadn't screwed up my pan lock, I would have, uh, I would have had that even faster. Super quick to set up. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love that comes with this is a cell phone holder. And the cell phone holder, you just literally snap lock a cell phone in there, 
And I've used this tripod more for cell phone use than anything because it's um, for taking a Skype call when I've been talking to the different tripod reps and they want to show me how their, uh, their products are uh, different from the others or uh, just generally, I'm not a big Skype user, but the last couple of weeks I've been using it quite a bit and that is super handy. I could also see this as a fantastic thing to take out into the field actually for a photographer that's doing behind the scenes shots. You could actually have your cell phone mounted up and throw this guy up, do behind your scene shots of your of your main actual setup, and then um, you know you pop this guy down. You've got two pounds in your backpack. You got your cell phone back in your pocket. Boom, ready to go. So a big fan of that. Um, it also has uh, it will detach and become a selfie stick for the selfie generation. That was something that I will not be doing. Um, and it has the Bluetooth trigger that I mentioned before for the other uh, uh, for the folks that want to trigger their cell phones from their selfie stick and there it is that's that's how quick and easy it folds up and you are done and it's in your backpack and you're off and ready to go all right the last one that we will look at is my favorite one I'm not gonna pull any punches it's it's a little bit more beefy it's a little bit more meaty it actually hits the price range where we're gonna put it into the article uh, it's 199 regular price and the article starts at 200 we're gonna round up and call it good yes Sharky that was for you alright so next alright so the legs same exact deal for the for this mechanism but these move over to a regular twist lock system I am a fan of that. I think that the regular twist lock system for me feels a little bit more sturdy and for just the extra millisecond that it takes to get these set up, um, I'm, I'm good with that. I'd rather spend a couple seconds and have the sturdier tripod. Um, in terms of specifications on this guy, you have, uh, it's slightly heavier, it's 3.6 pounds as a tripod. So it's, it's actually maybe almost twice as heavy as the Backpacker Air. Um, but at only and you know under four pounds, you're you're dealing with a very light um, tripod in the overall scheme of things. Um, the center column again regular twist lock instead of a uh, uh, the hyper lock system, and I have one of my legs slightly off kilter, but that will be fine. All right, so what I wanted to show everybody on this is the fact that yes, you can take a 100 to 400 millimeter lens on a full camera body. And you're, you're fine. It is absolutely able to handle that. And, and it's, it's actually quite sturdy. Um, I'd have no problem with this out in the field to put my, my 400 millimeter lens and a, and a DSLR on there. This is actually a 7D Mark II instead of my 5D, but it, it's still, it's a, it's a big camera. And boom, no problem. So um, by all means, I would say of the three, if I'm picking one to buy, um, it, it's this one. And even, even at $200, I would say I'd be comfortable with maybe taking this thing, um, if you have a big enough glove box, you could toss it in there, or just like leave it under the seat of your car, and you always have a tripod in your car, and you don't have to leave a really big expensive tripod rig in your car to get stolen uh, in the middle of the night or something like that. So, um, so yeah, I, I think this is, uh, this is the one that I would, would go with. Um, Right now, and I am recording this on May 19th, 2017, if you are seeing this pretty much at the time of recording, this tripod is on sale on the MePhoto website. It's $175 instead of $199. So it's actually the price of the purple on the Road Trip Air that I just showed you. So if you are of like mind and you would rather have the... Uh, uh, the twist lock legs rather than the hyper lock legs and you would want something that's uh, gonna hold 17 pounds instead of 13 pounds um, I would say pop on their website right now and order it and save yourself 25 bucks um, Between now and the end of May 2017 I am having a subscription drive for my new account so this YouTube account is brand new and basically, I got a little bit of a, a help with uh, breakthrough photography. If you subscribe to my channel and you share out the link to the uh, Kickstarter for breakthrough, you're entered to win a free polarizing filter from breakthrough, a uh, X4 CPL, your choice of size. Um, the Kickstarter that they have is actually for six different products. 
They're doing um, 100 millimeter filters, 150 millimeter filters, a holder which looks awesome, uh, graduated neutral density filters, and they're doing a new polarizing filter that they're calling a dark uh, CPL. And basically what that is doing is it's combining a neutral density filter with a CPL. Uh, super cool, innovative design, and I cannot wait to get my hands on that one. So if you are so inclined, please subscribe. Also, if you have questions, or if you've lived with one of these tripods for a period of time, and you can offer some uh, wisdom and some knowledge out to the, uh, uh, to the, the community in terms of how these operate, please do. Uh, if you have a question, put it there, and I will find out the answer for you, and I will see you next time.